I've just got a catering order today of um, 30 coffee and we're actually not open so I can actually show you how to set up the cafe in the morning just the machines and we are using a Slayer machines right here a Slayer EP3 group plus a Mythos 1 grinder and a pub press and we're gonna make 30 coffee see you later so this is it and you might complain about rubbish bin. Rubbish bag, it's brand new. Everything is like new. I don't think there's any bacteria on it. It's actually cleaner than most things. So first things normally do in the morning, um, I will try to run as much water as I can on the machine. So I actually do a full cleanse on here. So that way, the boiler will be having a lot cleaner water. And of course, I'm gonna set up my milk jug. Then I'm gonna wet some chucks There'll be green, blue, um, that doesn't really matter what colors. Most likely that you do want to have some kind of color coding so people will understand which one is for the bench, which one it's for here. Yep, and that's all. And normally, uh, we will grab coffee beans from the bottom and just fill it up because those are the ones that from yesterday, but because somehow I forgot, we're gonna get some coffee beans from above and ignore all, all the junks uh, because we are not supposed to open today. And we are using a proper coffee, coffee, seasons. Put your coffee beans in the hopper, try to flatten it. Uh, we're gonna make around 30 large coffee, so it's about 60 shots. And I think one kilo of coffee will be kind of enough. Since we have some coffees inside, I close the hopper gate. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to dial in a little bit. So just set up the recipe a bit. So whatever I'm doing now, it's what we should do in the morning. I think every barista should do that in the morning. Just make sure that everything's clean. And somehow, so funny, someone tried to get in. And most of the time, the first shot out of your coffee, uh, you might want to get rid of it or just let it run through. The reason that you want to do that is you want to... Because this coffee actually stay inside here. It's not 100% clean. So you do want to make sure that they... You're not going to serve them. But this gives you a pretty clear indicator of how was the grinder yesterday and of course if you're using if you're using some other way to get your coffee or cleaning you don't need to do what I'm doing right now because the grinder will be pretty good and I'm getting a 20 grams so I do want to have that more. yes so as you can see this is the shot that I just extracted. It does have kermas and everything. Um, it's a little bit over, but it does not taste nice. You don't really want to use that as your indicator. What I'm doing now, I'm just rinsing it, get rid of it, and just heat up and warm up the machines and everything. So in the morning, using the scale, it's actually very, very, very important and so you understand what is going on and some people might say that you don't have to use it all the time yes you're right you do not have to use your scale all the time but you want to use it most of the time like i'm here i'm trying to ask them ask my staff to actually use the scale literally every single shot because that way it build up the speed and you know and otherwise if you tell them that you can do it here now and then or you know once a while you realize that nobody does it after say the morning or something like that. This is a very the grinder that we're using me plus one, it's a very reliable grinder. Most of the time it would not go wrong. But because we're very busy, so a lot of time that you will see, we do need to test it because this part will heat up 
and once they heal up, it change all the setting. So do want to test it. And you're using a new bag of beans. You're using different days of coffee beans. You're using a yesterday coffee bean compared to the one that you used today. Those were all changes. So now the hopper is completely clean up. And we're going to start into actually testing the shop. Um, if you want to reduce waste, because there's some cafe that actually wanted to do that to reduce wastage, you can collect those shot and use them to do a coffee syrup or maybe even a barbecue sauce. But um, not really recommended. Like you see now, it's running at 16 seconds. Then in this case, get rid of it because the coffee will be overly bright. It'll be very sour. And what you want to do now, you want to retest it again because of the coffee that I'm using, it's actually two different days of coffee. So always 21 grams, stick with the recipe. Then later on, you can actually change it. But today, our uh, job is to, my job is to show you how to set up and open the cafe. So I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to Get that. I grab the meal that we have yesterday. Grab a couple more just to prepare. Now I'm getting a 20 gram. So I will start into changing this. By turning it clockwise, it means finer. By turning it anti-clockwise, it means coarser. So you do want to make sure that you understand that. And every single notch, it's about two seconds. So I'm getting 20, I will just make it clockwise four notches. And then I get rid of some coffee. That way, because there will be part of coffees inside the chute. You don't want to leave them there. And now because we're changing the side, the gap between two blades, it will have less coffee coming out. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna increase the dose after we get our ideal recipe. So technically, if you, until this end, you're able to get it, uh, that will be a, I would say, a slightly rough but legit opening for your cafe. Of course, you do want to make an espresso and a latte and just give it a go and try it. And now you look at the color, it's actually a lot better. Still slightly fast. I believe it will stop pretty quick, but um, let's see. Oh, yep, I'm getting 28 seconds. I'm getting an okay color of this. I might just starting to try it out and see how it goes. And now I'm just going to make my... Um... Make my breakfast, barista breakfast. I already had breakfast, but um, this is something that we normally do in the morning. We'll make a meal-based coffee and we have that espresso. So basically this is the first coffee. And a lot of the time if you're working in a busy cafe, that might be the only time that you practice all out there because later on you do not have the opportunity. I'm not gonna do anything crazy. I'm just gonna make a heart because I do want to have a very quick taste of it and then I have an espresso ready latte let's give it a go pretty happy pretty happy with the shot let's try the espresso 
Yep, the espresso is pretty good. What you're trying to aim for also in the morning when you're doing this setup, you need to understand your customer base. Do you have more milk-based coffee person, people, or black coffee people, customers? And you can starting to do some changes. For this espresso, it's actually slightly lighter. Like, it's actually pretty good in terms of drinking. It's a, it's a, it's a pretty yummy shot. But sometimes it might affect your milk-based coffee because the milk-based coffee might be not as strong as you want it to. So you will trying to do a little bit of either increase your dose or increase your extraction time to get that extra bit out of it. But I'm getting 28 seconds, I'm pretty happy. So yes, I'm gonna enjoy my morning and waiting for the catering order coming. And then we can start our show again. See you later.